guess someone jumped him. Not a pretty bunch. Not a pretty bunch. Yeah. Very intriguing. Hmm. Controls are garbage. Louis the Louse, squashed in his prime. Bucktooth Langley, bit off more than he could chew. Chuckles Lenart, he didn't get the last laugh. Not a pretty bunch. No achievement. Oh, I know what to do. Yes. It's good to see Dad in one piece again. It's crazy how much he looks like Grandpa Arthur. Yep. Here we go. I remembered how to do it. Fucking garbage controls. You think you could draw a picture of this guy? Sure. Hey, that looks like that Artie McFly think. Hmm, I never noticed that before. Hey, uh, can you give him a hat like Artie wears? Voila! Nice job. Now, go tell them chumps at the New Yorker. Alright. Sorry about this, Dad. Alright, this should work. Trixie! Uh, Trixie? Oh, yeah? I don't know how to tell you this, but I think you should check out the Wall of Fame. Why? What is it? <gasps> Artie! I don't believe it! We had a deal! Artie was supposed to be... safe! I don't know what to say. Well, I do. Felony tax evasion. What? Before he died, Artie was teaching me about all sorts of stuff. Oh, Literature, yeah. history, accounting. And I made a big discovery while I was copying all of kids' books. This establishment ain't entirely on the up and up. Really? Oh, shit. Oh, I knew about all the gangster stuff. That kind of thing you expect from tough guys like Hid. But when I found out he ain't been paying taxes on his speakeasy profits, well, cheating Uncle Sam is one step over the line. Once I turn this over to the police, they'll throw the book at him. This book? Hey, copper! Here we go. Oh, she's gone. What happened to my louse of an ex-boyfriend? I don't know. Rats. I told the chief we need a team of bloodhounds like they got over in Placerville. Yeah, but in the meantime... All right, everyone. Party's over. Everyone out of the speakeasy. Speakeasy? You're mistaken, officer. This is an ice cream parlor. <laughs> nice try, you. Out! Psst. Callahan. Would the Valenti mob be willing to help, uh, defuse this little situation? Sure, no problem. I'll bring it up in the next... A company meeting. Hey, we ain't begging here. Kid just thought JJ might like a piece of the action. Especially now that he's just caught the speakeasy arsonist. Huh. Wait, you mean... Doc? Doc? You ain't with the Valenti gang at all, are you? What do you know about the arsonist? Come on, you. Off to the station house. Kid's gonna get you, rat. He's gonna get all of you. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's that. Thanks to Miss Trotter's evidence, the entire Hill Valley police force is out looking for Kid and his goons. 
You don't understand. We've got to find him now. He's captured a friend of mine. Who? Uh, never mind. Don't worry. We've got the entire town square sealed off. If Tannen's within a mile of here, we'll find him eventually. Uh, I don't think we have time for eventually. Hey, boy, how you doing? Good dog. Parker must have confiscated this hooch from the speakeasy. Uber 28, a chicken in every pot. How's that working out, Herbie? Oh, yeah. Irving Kid Tannen. Guess he dropped this on his way out. Why not? It's empty. Figures. Alright. We'll be able to find him now. Hey, Aini, get your nose over here. <laughs> Alright. We at though. I really don't think Tannen and Doc are with Herbert Hoover, Aini. Okay, okay, I'll check it out. A button. Huh. huh. Good button. It's empty, so what's the point? Oh. All right, Doc, here I come. Callahan! Uh. What are you doing here? Uh, never mind. Come here and help me get rid of this stinking arsonist. Edna? Caught a plant in dynamite while he was clearing out the soup kitchen. Guess Sagan was innocent after all. I was researching a story, you ignoramus! Tell it to St. Peter's sister. Hey, what's all this? Parker? Tannen, you're under arrest. Get him, Sacramento boy. I can't do that, kid. What? Oh, I get it. Why don't you let go of Miss Strickland and call it a night? Hey, look over there! Oh my god. Watch <laughs> out! Get Tommy gun. How did we not get shot there? Give it up, Tannen. The alley's blocked off and so are the roads out of town. It's over. Over? Nothing is over until Kid Tannen says it's over. Uh. All right. I think I have an idea what to do here, if I remember correctly. Make it easy on yourself, Tannen. Tan Go, Tannen! Make like a tree and die, rat! Whoa! Where the fuck did he just put that? Did he just shove it up his ass? Terrible shot. No one messes with Kid Tannen. Hey, kid, eat lead, phony. Hey, moron, moron, this and get her out. Go, Tannen, make like a tree and die, rat. Oh, all Hello, right. Girl. Come on, kid. You know how this will end. Bowling for tennis. One thing to do, I mean, here we go. Are you shooting at me? I swear to clear him out. They're not, bitch. <laughs> that ain't a real gun. Oh, right. I forgot. I better just get rid of it then. 
Oh crap. <laughs> He's getting away. Get off, oh, no. No. There. It's, uh, it's just lagging a bit. <clears throat> See theater. Really bit lagging. All right, Parker. I want a getaway car and a clear road to Nevada, or the brown kid gets it. Doc. Marty. Doc. Yes, it's me. I'm talking to you through the radio apparatus my younger self has installed in the rocket car. What's going on up there? It's not good, Doc. Trixie and Parker did their part, but now Kid's holding you hostage. Great Scott! No kidding. Try to get Kid in the car. Once he's inside, give me a signal, and I'll do the rest. How am I? You! Oh, man. No good for you. Damn it. Oh! You're he's the dead. Cause of all of this, ain't you? He dies. Oh, how? Should have known. You don't look like any. Out to do. Here we go. No one makes a fool out of Got him. Hey, Doc, hit it. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> hey. Oh no! Oh! Who the hell not you, bitch? Irving Tannen, I'm placing you under totally arrest for clean. kidnapping, attempted murder, tax evasion, and smelling like a piece of crap. Tax evasion? Haven't you heard? The feds are practically drooling over Trixie's books. Trixie? Bitch! Oh! That's what you get for killing Artie, you bastard! What? I didn't... Trixie? Artie? Oh, damn. Hey, All right, now. Grandma. Hey, I have my new bond for that. Poor car. I what? believe I owe you an apology, Mr. Brown. Thanks to your ridiculous contraption, Hill Valley's most notorious criminal is finally headed to prison. No apologies necessary, Miss Strickland. My rocket car may have accidentally saved the day, but only because it's a completely out-of-control failure. I need a new idea. If you're willing to listen, I might have a few suggestions. But first, I think we should take in a movie. Yes. I'm all yours, Mr. Brown. I think you'll like it. It's all about a brilliant scientist with an overabundance of hubris. Whew. Come on, Einie. Let's go find Doc. Hey. All Thanks good in the hood. DeLorean, Doc. Demon. This thing's a blast. I'm absolutely sure that everything's back to normal. Totally. Kids going to jail, Emmett's going to see Frankenstein, and there's no such thing as a tanning crime family in 1986. And we remembered Einstein this time, too. Hill Valley crime rate at all time low. Hmm. Well, except for Grandpa necking with Trixie, I think we're ready to go back to 1986. Do you feel yourself fading out of existence? No. Then as long as your father's still born in seven years, I say, let your grandfather sow his oats. I kill sowing oats. Is that what's going on with you and Edna? What are you talking about? Emmett and Edna. They're gonna go see Frankenstein together. That's odd. Yeah, it's not a good thing. Fuck that movie. 